So this is something I've recently figured out how to do in Clip Studio Paint, and I think it's worth knowing, and it's uh, how to make manga style backgrounds. So this is a screenshot from uh, Oyasumi Pampan, Goodnight Pampan, a manga I definitely recommend. Uh, only read it if you're over 18 though. And uh, as you can see here, um, and a lot of other manga do this as well, uh, the background uh, is uh, this kind of, um, it's, it's photorealistic, but it's also, it's kind of got a screen tone element to it. And uh, I found out recently there's actually a tool you can do this uh, in Eclipse Studio Paint, and uh, I'm quickly going to show it to you. It is worth noting you can do this in Photoshop and uh, some other tools, but it takes a lot of time and there's uh, you just have to go for a lot of effort, and uh, Clip Studio Paint really streamlines it. And the first thing you'll need is the Layer Property tab. Uh, if you don't have that on your front page, just go to Windows and get it. Uh, so here, what you're going to do is get your photo up. I've taken this photo from uh, it's a Wikipedia of an airport. What you're going to want, for, uh, I'm going to quickly note this right now because it's pretty important and it's that the photo you're going to want, uh, you're going to want it to be pretty bright because if the photo isn't bright enough then um, the kind of tonal quality of it kind of like it gets really dark and it's, it just doesn't work as well so if you've, if you've got a dark photo then try raising the brightness up a little bit that might help uh, so the first thing you're going to do here is in, in the effect section of the layer property we're going to click extract line that'll mean uh, the kind of, uh, that'll kind of try to, uh, to make lines from the image and then the second thing you're going to want to do is add tone and as you can see already that looks uh, kind of manga-esque if I was to go to 100% here you can see it, it changes everything into, uh, into screen tones uh, let's quickly zoom that back a little bit so uh, here you can see at 50% that it's kind of got a really similar look to the Oyasumi Pampan screenshot I've got here and uh, Obviously, they don't. Uh, obviously, if, if your manga illustrator is going to do this, or if you're going to do this for your comic, uh, you need to kind of edit the image heavily. Uh, I'm going to link below a uh, video by someone who uh, who, sh who shows in a really good way how you can edit an image in this kind of look to make it look uh, more authentic and make it work more in a comic format. Because uh, obviously, the first thing you want to do is uh, you're going to remove or redraw the people. Uh, you're going to want to make some lines harder. Uh, if you look in the original, you can see here he's like made the desk. Uh, over here, like the lines are really straight, and uh, he's clearly just redrawn them as well as the uh, as well as the bag being redrawn. So, yeah, I mean, if you are going to do something like this, you're going to want to redraw it. You might also want to uh, change the contrast. So, if I quickly control U, I'm going to drag that in. But only if you change the brightness, you see you get different results. So, if I make it a little bit lower, that makes it darker. That might work for me, but if I want to change the contrast which might actually help us a little more if I make that darker you can see it's a darker looking image or lighter I personally think when you make it darker it kind of has more of an authentic look it uh, looks similar to kind of more authentic manga so all you need to really do is after darkening up add the lines uh, the heavy kind of lining on say for example these uh, the like the rafters here and maybe on the floor you'd also probably want to white out some uh, some areas on the floor as well as cartoonify the people so that they look more authentic in that kind of comic format. Anyway, I hope this has helped uh, anyone, and if you've got any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and help. It's worth noting that you might also want to play with these values, uh, the threshold to black and the threshold to edge. Uh, I've played with these two and they seem to do the most. I wouldn't recommend touching a connection a correction line width, I don't think that really helps anyone, so just keep that at zero. Uh, other than that, you want to keep all the rest of the settings the same, I'd say. Uh, bar maybe frequency of screen. I think that might be something you might want to look into, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I hope that's helped you out, and uh, yeah, just uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions.